wondered why a typical Igbo man will build a mansion in his hometown, in his country home first. Ever wondered why a typical Igbo man will build a mansion in his hometown building in the city? Or not even first, but must have a mansion, some exotic home in his country home, which probably he visits only once a year, and that's during the Christmas period. Now, in this video, we're talking about why the Igbo man consistently carries on in these traditions. We could see we saw it happen from our forefathers, from our fathers, even now. Our young boys are striving to build homes in their villages, even without having a property in the city. The Igbos say, This video will be talking about why you see exotic homes in thick villages in the east of the Niger. I mean, what hasn't been said about the Igbo man? Industrious, yes. Family oriented, check. Christian, check. You must have a house in the village, check. Like, you must come home for Christmas, check. Now, as a lady, and you're thinking of getting married to an Igbo man, and you think that you can sweet talk him out of building a palatial mansion in the village, even one with a swimming pool, you have to think again because this is one investment that doesn't bring the typical ROI but only would suit and massage a man's ego. And that's fine for an no, Igbo man. We're not taking it at a bare minimum. This is the mansion I will be showing you. From the outside from the exterior to the interior now let's get right into this special mansion this is in the east of the ninja and to be precise a number of states Ifego, 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 Ifego,
to my youtube channel as always my name is z and yeah just to talk about what you just saw why do the Igbos invest millions of naira that run into dollars into billions to build exotic and palatial homes that they only visit most times just one for one season in a year and that's usually the first season now the very first answer is the aftermath of the biafran war and other religious crisis that has um um, erupted in Nigeria. You realize that with the Biafran war, the Igbos were taught a very big lesson that when you have nothing back home, you really have nothing to start with. Because remember, there is this adage that says that when you're chasing a little boy and he reaches um, home or gets in front of his father, that's where he exhibits or exudes so much strength that you never thought he had. That's because he has a strong backing. Now, you realize that with religious crisis, the wars, the Afrofront wars, it was better off to invest back home because, I mean, home is always home. Achulagi, chuagi, chuagi, benini, home will still be home, right? So, like for us, for instance, I was living in just Plateau State before the religious crisis and we had to relocate. When we relocated, I mean, we were living in our own homes in Abuja, in Joss, and we had properties, but we came back, nothing. Just that 911 that brought us back, and that was it. From the scratch again, with a little savings, and that was it. But homes, properties, nothing. And then, you know, just, it just um, resonates with you that, of a truth, you have nothing. You've just been investing abroad, yes, abroad, and then home, back home, you have really have nothing. And then the second one is for retirement sake. A lot of our parents, when they age, they rather go to the village, and that's like the age of reconciliation being with their umuna, being with their people. So when they don't have something back home, it's more like, hmm, hmm, hmm. So after all my toiling in the civil service, all my toiling during my years of, the years of my youth, I'm stuck with nothing or I'm left with nothing. So that's why most people try to build homes and um, and just have something back home. And just like the Igbos, you know, we don't do things we're not mediocres. We don't. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it well. Afudimpa, ahuogologi mia. That's to say that a man is acknowledged based off of his um, achievements and all that. So the Igbos, like I already said, we don't like to do things small, right? So just to massage that ego for some people. I mean, they'll rather just build something exotic in the village so that, I mean, the festive period is when you have friends, families come around, say for your children's traditional ceremony or something or one thing or another, we just look for a reason to celebrate and then that's it. So you need something to like, hello, <laughs> hi, and that's it. So most people, even if, um, um, most people, especially sons, first sons, second sons, they realize that their fathers never built a home or a palatial this thing in their compound so it's just they strive to even if it's just to have one even if it's just even if it's just to have one particular one in their compound they always strive to do that just to have that sense of pride sense of accomplishment your umuna are proud of you and stuff i mean you can have all the wealth in in the east you can have all the wealth in the south in the north abroad and you have nothing back home your umunas are also going to keep pestering you they'll be like all these things do not make sense to me but at the end of the day you still see that peer pressure will make you do that another thing is the cost of building you realize that the cost of building when I say it's relatively cheaper, especially when it has to do with human labor, it's relatively cheaper in the um, the villages to build. And finally, for me, it will be that sense of accomplishment, that sense of I have arrived, that sense of well done, you have done something great, that sense of pride, that sense of of email and one, right? So an evil man 
an evil man a core evil man doesn't joke with his ego with his pride he doesn't so i mean you go to the north your friends your counterparts you go to their houses in the north you see something very good very exotic so during christmas you invite them over to yours and you're still living in a bachelor you're still living in that that doesn't sit or resonate well with the evils so they rather have something big so that when they invite their friends their counterparts they're also proud of themselves right so um it's also that sense of accomplishment um because the Igbos are very ambitious. That sense of accomplishment, the Igbos are very ambitious, very industrious. Like, um, they're not mediocre. A core Igbo man will hustle, legit hustle like it's hustle an evil man who is lazy it's there are evil men who are lazy don't take me wrong there are evil men who are lazy but a core evil man is hard working hard working like he would when it comes to working he will bring out that clock of humility and wear it and wear his badge of honor when it comes to flexing <laughs> comes to flexing you know that doings get level like <laughs> shallow marry an evil man no a call evil man no. if you want to enjoy all these things i'm telling you better marry an evil man <laughs> so um these are basically some of the reasons that i feel like the evils do this so i i have been able to show you these mansions and everything so um like some people will say there is money and there is Anambra money. If you go to Anambra, that's where you have most of these palatial homes and all that thing. But Ibo, um, Imo, Abia, and the rest are also trying to pick up at some point. So, yeah. So, I mean, these are a few of my reasons out of experience, out of knowledge, out of research that um, I've come to a conclusion that these five reasons are actually some of the reasons why people do that, regardless of what you think. And not all investments require ROI. Some investments are just there for, for the fun of it. Just, some investments are just there. They're not supposed to bring in any income and this is one of it. So till I come your way next time, remember to share, subscribe, like, and send out these videos to your Igbo brothers. And if you agree with me, give it a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, if you have other reasons that you feel like I did not outline here, kindly leave that in the comment section and till I come your way next time. It is IZ bringing you everything at your table. Love you.